Hey guys, I'm doing Skeptic here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday! And today I want to go over CompTIA questions, uh, CompTIA exam two two zero dash one one zero one. I'm going to go over laptop quiz questions. Uh, the reason why I'm making these videos is because I know some people are taking the A plus exam, and I want to cover some exams or some quiz questions throughout this year on A plus stuff because. I have a bunch of people that um, are studying right now. Like, oh, I don't know where to get some resources for studying. And um, examcompass.com is one of them that I use um, for helping to study because she gives you a rough idea what questions you'll be asked. And some of them they do show up when you go take an exam. So let me share my screen with you and go over 20 questions and we'll see if you get them right. Should be fun. All right. So screen uno. Uh, question number one, which of the following answers refers to a commonly battery type, um, that can be found in modern laptop devices. So here we have two different, you need asking about two different types of batteries. So for me, it would be this one and this one, and, uh, and I'll leave a screenshot of the batteries somewhere on this video. So you understand why those two are the answers and what kind of battery type is this and what kind of battery type is this. Okay. What are the next question? Which laptop features allows you to overcome standard keyboard size restrictions? So it wouldn't be touchpad. Touchpad is literally like it's like your it's like your mouse, your your mouse for a laptop, if that makes sense. So it wouldn't be that one. Uh numeric keyboard is the numbers on the keyboard. It wouldn't be that. This is this is to overcome standard keyboard size. Which laptop would allow you to overcome standard keyboard size restrictions? And um the, the digitizer, it wouldn't be that. That's like like for a phone or like LCD or a screen or something like that, it wouldn't be that. Uh, it would be the FN key. FN key is a function, the function key. So literally, if you press FN, and I'll put a screenshot here so much you guys can see what I'm talking about. But if you press FN along with um, FN and then you press F1, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F8, et cetera, et cetera, they are keyboard shortcuts. That's literally what this is. All right. What is the most commonly memory module form factor used in laptops? So I'll put a picture for this as well. So the answer for this would be SODIM. Uh, SODIM is our memory type. Um, obviously, memory is called RAM or random access memory. That's what we call it in IT land. So you guys are familiar with that. Go to the next one. Which of the answers listed below refers to an internal data storage device used in laptop computers? So flash drives would not be one of them. Um, that's the one of the ones that you would select because that's outside a PC. Like I literally have a flash drive right here in my hand. Like this is a flash drive. This would not be on a computer inside a computer. At least I hope not. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Uh, USB drives. That wouldn't even be the right thing as well. So two things that are, that make a laptop stand out is magnetic disk. This is a hard drive or the hard disk. Um, and then SSD, which is which stands for solid state drive. So that's what the two answers are. And that's why I'm selecting those two. And I'll put a picture of the hard, uh, I'll put a picture of an SSD and I'll put a picture of a uh, of a regular hard disk or a magnetic disk hard drive for a laptop. So you guys get a rough idea what that is. Okay. So you guys don't get lost. So which of the following answers refers to our hard drive form factor for laptop computers? So this would be 2.5. That is the standard size for a laptop hard drive. So this is this is hard drive disk. That's what this means um, in plain English. HDD is like because these are like technical jargon words that you guys are like. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. But that's hard drive disk is what this is. Uh, three point five inch is for a modern desktop PC or a computer, um, like a tower or desktop computer PC. You, it, it wouldn't be this one. This is for regular desktop PCs. This one is the right one. It's two point five. Okay. Go to the next one. Which of the following answers listed below refer to SSD form factors used on laptop computers? Select two answers. So this one will be, uh, I believe, 1.8 is one answer. And 2.5 is the answer. So these two different ones. Which of the following hardware components will be the most difficult to replace on a laptop computer? Uh, it would be integrated GPU, which is graphics processing unit. Uh, it wouldn't be any of these other ones. 
That's what that is. Okay. Which are the lab which laptop expansion card enables communication in 802.11 network? So if you know anything about 802.11, that is Wi-Fi topology or that's Wi-Fi standards. So there's 802.11a, 802.11b, 802.11g, 802.11n, 802.11ac. These are standards of Wi-Fi. So what the, what the heck does this mean? So it's asking which laptop expansion card enables communication of Wi-Fi. That's basically what the what the question is, right? So it wouldn't be this one. It wouldn't be this one. It wouldn't be this one. It would be this one, which is stands for wireless local area network. Which of the following answers best below listed below to uh, refer to a laptop's Bluetooth Bluetooth module? So you're like, what is this one? So this would be WPA, WPAN. A type of laptop expansion card enables communication over cellular network is referred to what? So what do you guys think? Should be WWAN. WWAN is um, wireless wide area networks. So basically it's um, this, the network cellular service, which is like 4G, 3G, 5G, LTE, et cetera, et cetera. That's, what, that's why this is the answer. Which of the following answers refers to a biometric authentication method? So when you talk about biometrics, we're talking about the human aspect of it, like your hands, your fingers, your face. So it's a human involved in this. That's what that's what biometric authentication usually is. It's from a human. So one would be fingerprint scan, which is what I have enabled on my laptop. Uh, and I have this one enabled as well. The other one would be face, face recognition. So it's... It's the person, the human element of it. It wouldn't be any of these other answers. So go to the next one. A technology implemented in modern lessons enables data transfer authentication features between laptop and another portable device. This would be NFC. It allows you to uh, move data between two Android devices or two mobile devices. That's what this is. All right. Which of the answers listed below refers to a display technology most commonly used on modern laptops? So this would be LCD. Would it be plasma? Would it be CRT or, or OLED? A type of backlight technology most com commonly used in modern laptop devices is called LED. Would it be any of these other ones? Which of the following answers refers to the location of a laptop's Wi-Fi antenna inside the laptop clay case on the wireless local area module, typically attached to external Expansion port, that doesn't make any sense. So it would be the middle one. It would be this one. Near the top inside the display case. So typically, and this is going based on my my um, old days, when I worked for the Department of Education, uh, DOE, I would replace the, the Wi-Fi antenna. You would take out the screen of the laptop. And literally, the, the, the wireless... Um, I guess the, the wireless antenna is literally like right there on the on the actual screen if you take it out based on hardware experience. Uh, which of the answers listed below describes the function of a laptop's inverter? Uh, converts DC power into AC um, and using use, use for supplying voltage to back to back lights and older types of LCDs. Using for supplying voltage to, nope. So it would be this one and this one. Docking stations, uh, typically designed to work with most laptop mo uh, models. That universal design, I don't think that's true. Uh, usually offer additional ports and cables compared to port replicas. I agree with that one. I always like that one. Typically designed to work uh, only with specific laptops make and model. Um, that makes sense. Offer identical features as port replicators. Uh, no, it wouldn't be that answer. Typically often less ports and computers. From the so it would be these two answers, okay? What is the name of a laptop component that provides a function of a pointing device? Trackpad. Pretty easy answer, right? Due to the size restrictions and compact nature of laptop devices, this type of storage media becomes less commonly found on new laptops. Optical drives. So optical drives are, um, they are like 
they're like a a drive where you could put a CD, pop a DVD or a CD, if that makes sense. That's what this is. So that would be the answer because a lot of laptops they stop using optical drives for DVDs and CDs. Now they're just they just have like SSDs. Um, you're you're trying you're starting to see like a lot of USB Type C laptops now in modern day technology. And there's definitely no more CD DVD uh, laptops. So hard to find that these days. Uh, back then they had a lot of those because we have a popularity with CDs and DVDs. So this is the answer. Uh, motor, mo motherboards used in laptops and mobile devices can be categorized by this by their by their proprietary design, which means that installing a new motherboard in such a device most often requires replacement part designed to specific make and model. This is true. And I hit finish. And I think I got a hundred on this. Let me go scroll all the way down. Unless I got one wrong. If I did, so be it. Yep, I got I got all of them wrong. All of them all right. <laughs> Can't talk. But yeah, that's it for me. Um, if you like this this type of video, let me know. You like how I explain stuff? Let me know. I, I would greatly appreciate it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, appreciate that. That does help my channel because uh, my channel sometimes does not get recommended because no one likes my stuff. So I appreciate if you do like my stuff. It, it gives me more of a wide range audience trying to study A+. If this helps you all, let me know. I'll make more videos on, on A-plus material stuff. Okay? With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Peace. Bye.